Welcome to today's video and today we are talking about the incline dumbbell press. So this will be a new mini series where I will be talking about one movement, how I am training it at home and how I am training it for hypertrophy's sake. So today we have the incline dumbbell press and the target is our upper chest. So first of all I will start talking about all the considerations that I do take into account when performing this movement and at the end of the video I will show you one working set how I do everything in practice. Point number one are the angles. As you see we have a lot of options here available to choose the angle for the incline so step number one is take your smartphone and we will measure it with the leveling app and by far this is the most important step so here i have set it to flat and as you can see it says here zero degrees then i have this setting right here and i did use it for a complete year and this was my preferred way of doing the incline and as you can see it's not a lot it's only about 13 degrees and this is not enough if you want to target your upper chest so let's increase the incline a little bit more and this would be the ideal setting for most people it's the standard recommendation and it's about 30 degrees off incline and this would be the maximum setting so here you can see it's about 45 degrees a little bit more here in my home setting but this is the maximum that you should really go and this will be the standard setting most of the time in the gyms when you are for example doing a incline barbell press you see the bench is preset to 45 degrees and you cannot do anything about it and then just test out for example here is a 30 degrees angle take a pair of dumbbells and see if it's comfortable for you and if you can feel the upper chest working primarily and then you just try the set and see how the 30 degrees incline is feeling like if you are feeling the upper chest or you don't feel it at all if it's comfortable this for example set at 45 degrees and just test it out how it feels and here you can see on the 45 degrees you have to adjust your form if you want to feel your upper chest more if we are talking about the main differences here on the 45 degrees you must arch a lot so reject also your scapula and that way you will position your chest so literally you will be arching from 45 degrees to a 30 degree incline if you will be keeping your torso relatively flat then you run the risk of the front delts taking over so it depends on a style on a personal preference so now i will demonstrate if i arched it to the max so i will be retracting my scapula puffing my chest out arching and then you can test it out how it feels so that's how i would perform a 45 degree incline if that's a preferred style then you can go ahead and do this but for me personally 30 degrees feels a little bit better i did reduce the angle to 30 degrees now and the main idea is you don't want to arch here a lot a little bit is okay so you puff your chest a little bit out you retract the scapula a little bit but you can also keep it free so you don't have to retract here to the max so that's why you will not mess up the 30 degree angle if you will arch here to the max you will reduce it a couple levels lower and then it defeats the purpose of biasing the upper chest then your lower chest will take over so i don't want to arch here a lot just a little bit to be stable and then i'm performing the movement and this feels personally for me the best now if we are talking about the differences between the dumbbells and here the barbell so you can also do the incline barbell press but you have two major differences so with the barbell you will get less range of motion if you are lowering here to your chest and the bar touches your chest you cannot go any deeper so that's point number one and with dumbbells this would be 
negated and you could get in even more range of motion here. So that's the first difference between these two. It's just a minor difference, but at the end of the day, it's quite significant. And then point number two is you don't have the converging aspect. So if you are performing it here with the barbell, you cannot bring your arms together because they are locked here with the barbell. And if you would be doing it with dumbbells, then as you are pressing up, you can bring the arms just a little bit together. So you have this converging aspect and this gives you a little bit better squeeze in the chest. Also, if you are the type that doesn't feel the chest working when doing the bench press or incline bench press in this case, I suggest trying out the dumbbells. One of the biggest mistakes that I see when people are doing the incline dumbbell bench press is not controlling the movement and not controlling the negative. So you want to have a slow eccentric and control it all throughout the range of motion. Then you do a brief pause at the bottom and you push it back up. And that's how the movement should look like controlled throughout uh, all of the range of motion. So you don't want to dive pump it and then press it back up again like this, rushing through it. It defeats the purpose of this lift. And when I feel that this will be my last rep and I will not manage to perform another one, I will grind out the last eccentric. So I will complete last eccentric, get it, and then I'm done with my set. So regarding the form, arch just a little bit. So puff your chest out a little bit, retract a little bit. So be comfortable. It depends from person to person what is more comfortable for you. Then if we are talking about tucked elbows, so if you are doing a flat barbell bench, it is recommended that you tuck your elbows at 45 degrees and you would lower them to your lower chest area. So here it is not recommended to do it like this. First of all, you want to lower it more to your upper chest, to the clavicular area and don't tuck your elbows a lot. So 45 degrees is the maximum but ideally you would tuck like 30 degrees so avoid tucking it all to the maximum and avoid not tucking at all so you don't want to perform such a guillotine press with no tuck at all so it's dangerous for the shoulders in my opinion so for me the sweet spot is about 30 degrees and then i try to lower it to my upper chest area. I get into a quite a deep range of motion that is comfortable for me and I'm pushing it back up and try to feel that your upper chest is working here. So in general, try various approaches. Try tucking a little bit more, a little bit less, lowering to your middle chest or to your upper chest and see what's comfortable personally for you. There's no size fits all here, so you have to play around. So the goal is very clearly here, try to feel that when you are performing set number one, set number two, and even set number three, that you feel that your upper chest is working here. If you do feel that you did get a little pump here in the upper chest area, then most of the time you are performing everything correctly. But if you are not feeling that the chest is working or you are feeling that the lower chest is working here, then you are doing something wrong and then double check your form. I recommend here using two rep ranges. So my favorite one is either six to 10 or eight to 12. And now I will show you uh, one working set of how I am performing the movement in practice.
this was the incline dumbbell press for upper chest hypertrophy. Here's a playlist if you are interested in more hypertrophy videos. And I will see you soon next time. Bye.